Court has cleared the way for pictures, videos, and witnesses during the third trial against Antonio Armstrong Jr. Seven years ago when he was 16, Armstrong was accused of killing his parents. He maintains his innocence. This case is the focus of our innovative multi-platform approach to covering this child. We are, trial, rather. We are calling it The Bench. KPRC2's Rowan Belogan was in the courtroom and shows us what's being brought in. Hey, let's start with photos. The judge approved certain photos to be let in and used during this trial. Those photos include crime scene photos and autopsy pictures. These pictures are some of the crime scene photos that we took the night of the incident itself. What the jurors will be seeing throughout these, this trial are a bit more detailed. So this is what we will get and expect throughout this trial photos. Next up, court records. So let's take a look at what will have to happen during during this process. AJ himself was brought up to the bench where he approved some of his text messages and phone records will be allowed in. But those aren't his entire text messages or conversations, but it's kind of narrowed down. It's narrowed down to these dates, April 1st of 2016 to July 29 of 2016. Now these dates are important. We'll get to that, but it's also even more focused down to messages with his parents and messages between his now wife. At that point, she was his girlfriend. And also a message about a small fire that the state's prosecutors are alleging that AJ set inside the family home. That fire is what a is what the uh, prosecutors say he said on the 26th. That's why that date is important. On the 28th is when we know Don and Antonio Sr. were killed. That's with the phone records. Now, there was also some questions about some possible witnesses. Two witnesses here that the judge is weighing on whether to allow them during the trial itself. Those witnesses, the first one is AJ's aunt. Now, she's important because she worked at Antonio Sr.'s gym, and she can authenticate some surveillance video that appears to show two suspects breaking into the gym after Don and Antonio Armstrong were killed and once AJ Armstrong was in custody. So that's one witness. Another witness is a VP at alarm.com. Why this is interesting is because prosecutors want to bring this person in, said that they can describe the alarm at the family home into details. But here's where the issue comes up. The defense says, well, they don't want that person to speak and it's nothing with bad faith. They're just saying that prosecutors didn't give them enough notice to try and find someone who can counter whatever this VP at alarm.com may say. Say they don't have enough time to speak with this individual and gauge what they may say to find enough time on their end to find someone who they also could bring in to testify. Now, while all of this is happening, the judge, again, is trying to figure out if she will allow one or both or neither of them to speak. All while this is going on, the defense team is also asking for donations in case that they are able to bring someone who can counter the testimony of this VPAlarm.com. So that's what is the latest in the bench. I'm Roman Blogan reporting from downtown. Roman Blogan, KPRC 2 News.